tell you, happy people. You guys have a good Thanksgiving? Waits for responses. Okay. Uh, yeah, I sure did. I love my drumstick, which I always have one or two of. Smothered in gravy, of course. Alright, today is the rematch with Razbarrel. Um, since I already uploaded the intro first, I mean, the intro to this fight, before I decided to cut it out of this installment, if you didn't see it, go back and see my video where I failed against her, because you'll see the intro for that there. Um, I just cut it out for the sake of time, really. Here I go! So, if Luminaire is ready for a rematch, that must mean he's done some power leveling. Well, yes, yes I have. Um, in between the time you saw me do uh, Mount Ordeals 2, uh, I was not able to do Mount Ordeals 3 yet. <laughs> that was a bit too hard. So really, I just did more character world and item world farming for a bit. I don't remember exactly what I got. I didn't watch all my data. <laughs> but, um... Uh, but, needless to, uh, as you'll soon see, I'm pretty sure Arcoid is more than capable of handling herself at this point. Oh, not to mention a little 451 best go. <laughs> God, bless Always me. nice. Um, so if you didn't remember, the layout of this level was pretty much, um, she's, Razbrel's gonna fuse, and she's gonna have, you know, range out the wazoo, so she's gonna be able to hit from a very far distance. Oh, I forgot to turn on animations. I'll have to do that. Um, let's see. Uh, today is Black Friday, which is when I'm recording this. And I have to go into work in three hours. Of course, I have to really leave in two hours because the traffic like to get to work will be so horrible. Uh, sure what my coworkers have been doing okay. <laughs> I mean, while I'm... I mean, I don't have to be in work until 4 p.m., and I know and I know a lot of people that had to get in there at 10.30 p.m. on Thanksgiving night for the midnight opening. Poor guys. And then they still have to work later today. Harsh. That's harsh. Man. I'll spill some of my monster on the floor for my homies. My fallen homies. Uh. And now the Christmas shopping begins. Have you done yours already? If you're smart, you should have. I only have two, three more people to shop for. Uh, funny thing is, you know, it's like everyone's saying, it's like, oh, you get to use your discount for everything. Yeah, well, my discount doesn't take effect for 30 days. So. I can't get my discount for like another two weeks. Oh yeah, we did that damage. Uh, so, you know, whatever. I've just been buying things here and there. Uh, no PS3 yet. You'll know when I have one. Uh, again, still highly debating what to do for Skyward Sword. I mean, it's a little late at this point, but I'm not exactly happy with the video quality or the gameplay footage I already have. I really should re record that live, and I'm half debating not to record that, or not to do a let's play of that at all. You know, just um, concentrate on something else. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try. I think I, I, I really should try to stick mainly to PS3 and 360 games, 360 games for now, of course, simply because, again, um, I need to find a configuration for headphones. If anyone can think of, actually, you know what, why don't I just, I have, maybe I should just find out if there's a way to get my, plug my headphones right into the TV. That way the TV, that way the sound still goes to the TV, but then the TV sound is just progress is... Um, sent to my headphones. You know what? I'm gonna check that out real quick. Well, 
Well, there's a digital digital audio out and in on the bottom. So almost certainly I could use that. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Um This is gonna this is gonna take some fiddling around with, but if I can get this to work, then I think I can re start to record Skyward Skyward Sword in earnest. I might even just start a new file right away for you guys and you know have knowledge of the first two dungeons and do the rest of that and do the rest of that um, virgin style <laughs> like unaware of how to do it so but I, I need feedback and I, I need I need votes uh, what do you guys want to see if uh, do you just want to wait for an entire new second playthrough should I show you what I've already got you know despite my uh, <laughs> aimless wandering Meandering. Let me know, Cod Sonnet. Ah. Man, I'm really taking my time with these ovenings. I wonder what the hell that is. Some kind of mythical cat creature, I take it. Do, 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 do. I'm really here taking I my come. time here. Hey, ah! four. Man, you rarely get to see this one. Rock. I got a rock. That's right, there was there was no ranged attacks here, right? I could lift her if I wanted to, but I'm probably not going to. Uh Another news. What other games are coming out of that? You know I'm glad King uh if anybody that's a fighting game fan, King of Fighters 13 is getting decent reviews. A lot better than King of Fighters 12 did, and it looks like it has a pretty decent roster. So I think I'm actually kind of excited to play that. I played the only King of Fighters game I've ever played was King of Fighters 11, but I liked it. And um, and of course, uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2, which is one of my favorite fighting games. So that's where I got introduced to a lot of the King of Fighters and Fatal Fury characters, and stuff like that. Good old Terry Bogard, Power Gazer. So I think I want to get that game just so I can make a super move compilation for that. And of course I should probably also do that for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when I get that. Of course I wouldn't be surprised if such a video already exists, but I'm going to make my video and it's going to be better. I like making compilations. They're not too challenging, just a little time consuming, and I think they're good for garnering views, which is important to a YouTuber. Because I can't just do Let's Plays forever. Of course, I've been kind of slacking on this duty, so I'm, I'm not really doing Let's Plays as often as I'd like to. I swear, as soon as I get a more um, reliable schedule, I can do these more frequently. I can <laughs> designate my time better. I think I've mentioned that already. I have a bad habit of repeating myself if I don't have a script. Speaking of... Be working on some more scripted projects. Honestly, I was, I, I, like I've said, I've <laughs> I started work on a top 10 like all the way back in the early summer, and I haven't really worked on it since. It's probably never gonna get finished, which is sad. But, but I don't feel too bad because I'm trying to learn. I gotta learn After Effects, man. Have to learn After Effects. It's, it's like so important and necessary. And gathering game footage by itself, that's like, you need to, that's a full-time job in and of itself, just getting footage. And then, you know, a lot of these people that put out these lists, they have a team, and they have people that, you know, like one person does, you know, like, a few people write, and then one person does the acting, and then usually one person does the editing, some guy gets, garners clips, and up does the up, uploading to YouTube. 
you know, it's multi-man force, and I'm trying to do it as a one-man army, and <laughs> while learning the ropes at the same time, and I gotta say, it's not as productive. It's not that productive. Alright, once this last Dreadnought is out of the way, or Tree Golem, uh, then I can start focusing on the, on the ghosts. Oh yeah, from this point on, I'm kind of going to start to keep a Shaman out, just so to lower the enemy's stats by 5% almost all the time. Take this. And do I go for Giant Desco to Brace yourself. hit all of them? I'm not sure. Here I go. Throw Tower. I don't have to make it in one turn. So if I throw that... Okay, this is stupid of me. Rather than destroying that block... Um... Should throw it onto the green square. That way they're just sitting ducks. And you can pick them off one by one. But no! I like the challenge, apparently. And I destroyed the block. Did not think that through. So, if you're doing this for the first time, don't be me. Pick that block up, throw it onto the green. You'll have a much easier time with this level. But, none of these event battles have been easy so far. Why should they start to be now? And actually, come to think of it, I still have time for probably the final... Oh yeah, look at that. That feels good. Yeah, I think I have just enough time to do a character entry. Where's that guy? Ready for me? Yeah. Alrighty, we're up to the badass freaking overlord himself. Zeta. This dude is so awesome. Unfortunately, no no longer voiced by Crispin Freeman. Such a shame. He's what made the character special. But he's still pretty cool. Okay, Zeta. Pretty short description. You can't mess up when you're using Zeta. His stats are through the roof. His unique attacks are punishing and unfair. Give this character the best sword that you can find and hack everything apart. Subtlety is no longer an option. And that's it. Uh, he's humanoid. He can move and throw four spaces. He is 50% resistant to every element. Nice. And he has two special Take attacks. This. Neo Zeta Beam, which uh, has, a, based off his attack stat, um, the element is Star, and it, it's hard to describe the area of effect, but it's huge. It, it's like Tyron Flucude, but bigger. Uh, this attack does more damage than almost anything with similar costs. It's brutal, and it also has a massive area of effect. It's hard to say which offers the bigger advantage. Either way, Neo Zeta Beam is a killer that would make Zeta a perfect team member almost by itself. Use and abuse this for any encounter that has grouped enemies. Yeah. And then there's Badass Overdrive. Power is S. And it can hit up to two tiles away, a single target. Badass Overdrive is a single target wrecking machine. Costing well under the standard SP amount for a high end ability, this also boosts maximum attack potential and a little bit of range. And here's the other thing that made um, Zeta awesome, his ability. Badass Overlord. Applies Zeta's highest stat whenever he uses a special move. What does that mean? So regardless of what attack, uh, what stat a certain attack uses to calculate its damage, Zeta will just use whatever stat is the highest. So for example, if you use, while Neo Zeta Beam is based off your attack and say it's 1 million, but you're focusing primarily on speed, and you have a speed stat of 6 million. It will use your speed stat instead to do the damage calculation for Neo Zeta Beam. This pretty much means he's equally powerful in physical attacks and magic without having to boost either of those attack or intelligence stats at all. You could boost up his... In fact, it's prime... It's 
really in, um, endorse that you uh, boost his either his speed outright or pro maybe his hit, but probably his speed because speed is is a good defensive stat, and it will it would use it, it would take place in all his uh, attack calculations anyway. Now here's a downside that the guy doesn't mention, but I don't blame them because it's not easy to notice. But the community noticed, and it's that Zeta is glitched, and unlike other characters, he cannot gain proficiency in his weapons. What that means is, you normally when you use sword attack skills, like Hurricane Slash a few times, it'll go up from level 1 to level 2 on its own from use. It won't do that for Zeta. So his attacks will never be as strong as another character's as a result. It's a real shame considering, you know, he's a character you want to use, but this really holds him back. His two class skills do level up, however. Neo Zeta Beam and Badass Overdrive. Those can those can level up from use, but not any of the weapon skills. Such a shame. And his other two abilities are Ultimate Power. His attack is up by 30% on odd turns, and Intelligence is up by 30% on even turns. Uh, that's pretty cool, except um, if you're going to be focusing on, you know, like, the, sp the speed stat, then this isn't going to be helpful because it's the speeds that you want to be the highest. And the last one, strongest body, is the same, only it's defense and resistance. So you could focus on defense or resistance, and that would be boost on on uh, certain turns, which would increase your attack skills. That could be handy. And let's see, uh, he's prof he's proficient in swords and spears. I think he learns up to rune dimension with swords. And you know, spears suck. Don't use them. We'll establish that. And finally, his aptitudes: HP 120, SP 100, Attack 130, Defense 110, Intelligence 130, Resistance 110, Hit 110, and Speed 90. Uh, makes it hard to major in speed, but remember, all aptitudes can reach 300% eventually, so that can be kind of moot if you're willing to put in the time. And I think I finished this right before. Nope, I got a nick. Got one more attack, and she's dead. The deadline. How nice is that? Alright, thanks again for watching, guys. This concludes one more of the seemingly never ending This Guy of 4 Let's Play that I have been conducting. As to what game I'm going to play next, I still can't decide. Give me your votes, I really need to know. Gobble gobble. Not bad, guys. Grill me, roast me, do whatever you want with me. Her acceptance of losing is so refreshing, Tesco should learn from her. No, no, don't do that. All right! So I'm back to being the president again. Goodbye, tears. See ya, life lessons. I don't even care anymore. He can do whatever he wants. You, Rasbrol, was it? Your volunteer spirit certainly reached through to me during this battle. However, shouldn't a true volunteer spirit be evoked by one's own free will? Can you really call something that was forced upon us by presidential decree true volunteer work? You're absolutely right! How did I lose focus on the very fundamental basics of volunteering? I... I... I don't deserve to be called a delinquent! That's what honor students would do! But demons are supposed to be honor students! Every girl goes through that phase when she wants to rebel against her former self. It's only natural. Yep, girls are complicated. I'm sure you'll understand that when you're older. I know I don't look like it, but I've been alive for so much longer than you do. Miss Rasparrow, don't blame yourself too much. Some abnormal phenomenon has confused you into doing all of this. I was a victim myself, so just don't worry about what happened. Well, you should probably be a little worried, as an Archangel. Ah, I see! So that was all because of some abnormal phenomenon. I need to get some payback for what that phenomenon has done to me before I go back home. 
So, you're saying that you're going to loiter around here too? Hey, don't worry! You and I have crossed fists as friends! It's getting a little merry around here, don't you think, Fenric? All of these misfits are rather troublesome to be around. Lord Val, who should always be the main focus, is being undermined by these fools with stupidly strong personalities. It's not a big deal, but we don't know anything about the enemy. At least we should have enough force. I concur. All is for my lord. Though this is even affecting a demon from another netherworld. It's possible that God might have something to do with these abnormal phenomena. 